Saya Player is one of the most interesting players to watch in professional Valorant, so let's dissect his aiming mechanics and break down what makes him such a special talent for the guard. We have to start by looking at Saya's Marshall, the perfect eco weapon for a Widowmaker main. Saya consistently hits shots like this, and this, and this. His proficiency with such a high skill weapon makes him a nightmare to deal with on eco rounds. Let us slow things down to see just how good his aim really is. Peeking into an angle with a scoped weapon is super dangerous because you usually only get one shot, and it can be hard to pre-aim your crosshair accurately. Saya's aim looks way off here initially, but because he's done such a good job with vertical crosshair placement, he only needs to adjust horizontally to hit the shot. In this shot, Saya is moving from right to left and trying to anticipate where the enemy jet will pop out. When Jet does appear, she is mid-jump, and this throws off Saya's vertical crosshair placement. Luckily, the movement of both players has lined them up horizontally, so Saya only needs to flick upwards for a snappy headshot. All aiming takes place on two planes, horizontally and vertically. Adjustments across both vertical and horizontal planes at once require more precise control of your mouse to make quick diagonal movements. Here we see Saya player peek the top of Catwalk, and unfortunately the enemy jet has already crossed the double box. Now they're jumping down into the courtyard cubby, but Saya shows excellent diagonal accuracy that only requires a tiny vertical micro adjustment at the end to hit the shot cleanly. It's with the Marshall that I noticed the most sort of Overwatch style aim from Saya player, but let's go ahead and take a look at the Vandal, which is Saya's rifle of choice. In slower paced rounds, Saya's crosshair placement is superb. However, his role as the hard entry fragger for the guard often forces him into awkward situations that he has to shoot his way out of. And this is where Saya tends to rely a bit more on his quick reaction time and aggression. Here we see him push fearlessly to take space and even with low HP, he challenges Optic before they can even start their retake and completely shuts it down. Another really cool part of Saya's skill set is his seamless flow between utility and rifling. Here we see him controlling Hookah and after finding an initial kill he checks for a flanker and then holds the spawn smoke to help his teammates get onto site. His initial crosshair placement is a bit off but he instantly adjusts and finds a huge spray down on two more players. This unlocks Showstopper just in time as the enemy Sova also pushes out from smoke and Saya runs out of bullets. Without hesitation he pulls out the rocket launcher and jumps across the window using the ultimate's momentum to help avoid enemy fire and fly into cover while collecting a fourth kill. His last ally falls to the enemy chamber's shots from the back of the site, and Saya quickly reloads, then lobs a paint shell grenade to flush chamber out of cover. The utility sets up perfectly for a timed peek, and Saya collects his fifth frag of the round. As good as Saya is with the rifles, he's a freak with the operator. Here an aggressive early peek with great pre-aim nets a collateral kill, and Saya falls back just in time to perfectly sidestep the enemy jet's knife. Then, in rhythm, he re-peeks and deletes the jet immediately. Compared with the flying Overwatch character, this probably feels like the easiest shot of his life. Saya regroups with his allies and then follows a Yoru decoy out of the choke point to re-peak aggressively and cleans up an ace. But what about jet knives, you say? Well, yes, Saya also handles those with expert precision. Honestly, giving someone used to aiming in these types of conditions the ability to shoot while moving in Valorant is kind of unfair. The biggest thing I noticed with Saya's Bladestorm use is how calm and calculated he is. He rarely wastes a knife. He always seems to take that extra microsecond to make sure that he's on point with his aim before firing off a blade. Seriously, Saya, you get knives back after a kill. It's okay to use more than one of them. I think there is an X factor to Saya player's insane precision across such a wide variety of weapons. We also talked about how fluidly he seems to move through a round, swapping between utility, movement, and gunplay with ease. Coming from a game as chaotic and movement focused as Overwatch has clearly trained a different set of skills than most other pro players who came to Valorant from Counter-Strike. Saya handles elevation changes with ease after years of flicking and picking off flying heroes. Is tracking and smacking a jet or rays really that difficult after knocking countless enemy mercies and widowmakers out of the sky? Saya's time in Overwatch has given him a unique and flexible playstyle that has translated amazingly well to Valorant.